Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, we are checking something that has completely taken me by surprise, blown me away on epic proportions. You know when you see something and it's love at first sight and you can't get it and then you do get it? Well, that's what's happened here. So without further ado, let's check out the Kangaroos and Foot Shop collaboration on the Ultimate 3 Flip. All right, so before I jump into the review of the shoe itself, I just want to talk a little bit about the story of how I came to get these. Uh, as some of you guys might know who follow me on my private uh, or personal Instagram, Chris Jack, or on sneakerstories.tv, uh, would have seen me repost these images from Sneaker Freaker of this particular pair. I was absolutely infatuated by the colorway, the design of it, just the materials. You could just see from a mile away that this was an epic quality and produced shoe. Uh, and it was something that I had to have. Like it was, Every now and then again, I see shoes where I'm just like, at, at any cost, I will get that shoe, 100%. So I started on my mission to try and find these. Uh, obviously, I went to the Foot Shop website first, which is the collaborator on this. And for those of you who don't know, Foot Shop is a, a pretty much version of shelf life, essentially, uh, for those of you here in South Africa, or a consortium retailer out in Prague. Uh, that's at least where they started. They're based in the Czech Republic. Uh, so they've got a couple of different doors throughout there, uh, but Prague was their uh, first or sort of inaugural store uh, in that. So I went to their website and got really, really excited because they had a countdown for when these were releasing. I was like, this is happening 100%. Uh, and then the bad news hit that they do not ship to South Africa. Now, that's gut-wrenching. Like, I was willing to pay the customs. I was willing to pay whatever the shipping was. It was just not possible. So I emailed them. Uh, unfortunately, it was just an is what it is scenario. Uh, so I was just not going to get these. Try to find them on StockX. They weren't on StockX. The story goes on. So now at this stage, I'd kind of just resigned uh, that I would find them overseas one day in a resale place or do whatever. But they were still definitely on the list. And then as some of you guys might remember, I went to Sold DXB again this year out in Dubai. I did make a vlog on that. So if you do want to watch that, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, but while I was there, I happened to meet the owner of Footshop, Peter Kovac, and the designer of the shoe. And I'd explained to him how much I was absolutely obsessed with this. And he's now done me the favor of making a pair happen for me, uh, which I'm incredibly thankful for. So a huge shout out Peter Kovac. That is, I mean, you know how stoked I am to have these. Uh, and included with that, he gave me a whole bunch of other things as well in the box, which I'll show you in this review. Uh, but just to get on to Kangaroos itself, just a quick background on what Kangaroos is. It's a brand that we don't see uh, in South Africa very often at all, at all, actually, at least right now. Uh, it's a shoe I've always had my eye on. I've always known about the brand, but I've never owned a pair until right now, uh, which seems pretty crazy considering that I'm fully obsessed with these. But the brand itself was started in the 70s in the States by an American runner. I think his name was Bob Ham or Bob something like that. Sorry, can't remember his name. Uh, but yeah, he was running like 10Ks a day and he wanted to develop a shoe where it had a pouch or pocket on the shoe where you could put his keys or loose change or anything like that. And anyway, the brand took off with their running shoes. I think they were selling like over half a million pairs of these things uh, and quite regularly as well. Uh, and then the brand kind of took a knockdown and then they developed Dynacoil cushioning technology which they were actually testing with NASA uh, and implemented in the shoes. It's basically just a coiled uh, fabric which has memory in it which can basically rebound and replay energy uh, in the midsole of the shoe. Uh, and that I think is used in this pair if I'm not mistaken myself. So yeah, they had some kind of resurgence there. They are available in 60 countries and definitely not available in South Africa, at least as far as I know. Uh, but this collaboration itself is the second part of a, I guess, two-part series uh, so far, which basically honors the home city of a foot shop, which is obviously Prague, and that is known as the city of 100 spires. Now, a year ago, they came out with the first collaboration uh, which was just a basic different colorway of this. It's the inverse flip essentially of the colors uh, And he actually gave me a sticker here with that particular pair I'll show you that one right there, but I'll overlay that on the shot as well So you can get a better idea of that 
Uh, and then this particular version was meant to be a friends and family only version, uh, but due to a miscommunication between them and the production, uh, they decided that they would actually release this a year later. And I'm so happy that they did uh, because this particular colorway and version of the shoe is, oh, this is the one for me. All right, so getting into the shoe itself, and as always, starting with the outside of the shoe, you've just got a plain black rubber version over here with some traction patterns in there and kangaroo logos uh, in the heel and midfoot of the shoe. And moving up into the midsole, you've got that Dynacoil cushioning system just over here in the back. That's just done in this gray coloring, uh, which at least is accentuated like that. The rest of the midsole material is, as far as I know, phylon. Uh, so it's pretty soft, it's pretty cushioning to touch, uh, and definitely reasonably comfortable on foot. Obviously, you're not gonna get the comfort uh, that you're getting in today's modern day shoes, uh, at least with modern day technology. This is a technology that's probably close to 40 years old, so I wouldn't expect major comfort from it, but it's not something that you're really buying for comfort. I mean, just look at these things. Oof, quality is insane. And now moving into the upper of the shoe, this is where I am. I've literally never seen craftsmanship and quality on a shoe like this, even with hender schemes. Like, this is like hender scheme, eat your heart out kind of stuff. Like, the leather qualities on here are just insane so starting off with this lower layer over here which is a basic suede uh, it's a very very short and buttery suede i mean it's just got so much texture on that when you brush your finger over and then you've got this overlaid panel which is obviously different levels of spikes over here and that's basically to represent the skyline of prague the city of a hundred spires uh when really brings that story to life here which is such an awesome detail uh, and that wraps all the way around into the medial side of the shoe as well it's a very very beautiful design feature and you've obviously just got this lighter stitching in there just to highlight those little jagged edges and moving further up in the mid panel the toe box and heel collar section you've got this perforated vegetable tan dyed leather uh, it is incredibly good quality I, i'm going to be saying quality i have a lot of this review but it really is something quite phenomenal in here and it's hit just behind that panel in the midfoot you do have the kangaroo logo and this has been done in that raw sort of crack leather feeling so it's a really vintage looking thing but further to that it really just makes the logo stand out on foot and then wrapping around those perforated areas you've got a flat hand leather over here which is just beautiful quality again i'm saying quality a lot because there are and then at the base of the lacing system you've also got that raw exposed crack leather um, just here at the bottom with the bottom two eyelets and then the tongue material set just behind the laces there is done in that turquoisey color and that is a perforated suede all the way to the top and then moving to the top of the tongue you do have co-branding of foot shop and kangaroos that have been debossed into this leather panel with a leather pull tab just above that again it's just so well manufactured it's crazy and tying into the color the top eyelets over here has been done in almost a coppery brass color uh, and that is on both sides of the shoe and just swinging around to the heel section of the shoe this panel over here has got the foot shop and kangaroo co-branding logo uh it's been debossed into that leather panel uh you'll notice the s in foot shop has been changed to a five and this is to signify the five-year anniversary of the inaugural store of foot shop in prague and just to quickly show you the right hand heel over here this has got the narodny museum that's been debossed into that uh, and that is a beautiful detail over here for prague it's the national museum i hope i pronounced it right uh, but that serves more than just the city of 100 spires inspiration it also influences the colorway of the shoe itself so you'll notice uh, or pick up at least some inspiration from the colorway of that museum here in the colorway of the shoe now from a lacing perspective they have included flat white laces with the shoe that do come pre-laced uh, you also have these sort of gold metal aglets over here uh, but further to that they do give you a second set of laces if you want to keep it a little bit more raw on foot uh, and these are basically very very thick just raw leather laces which is an incredible look on these shoes as well now as i mentioned earlier the originator of the shoe wanted to create a shoe that had a pouch and a place to store your keys and stuff while running uh, and it's really awesome to see that's been included in this particular pair as well super retro and very kangaroo-ish uh, they've included that pouch here which is basically done in a pure leather over there uh, just behind the tongue and on that you've got debossed handcrafted in germany with the sizing information over there as well and then i mean this is really just the quality continues inside the shoe as well like i really haven't seen anything as good as this before uh you've got beautiful suede sock liner over here and then check at these insoles like i mean have you ever seen an insole like that before in your life 
it's absolutely beautiful. So you've got the foot shopping kangaroos, uh, the city of 100 spires debossed into that suede panel over here. The detailing comes right through into the insole and then the rest is this beautiful, I mean you can just see how thick the leather is over here. This is proper genuine leather. Uh, and then just to show you how neat it is inside of the shoe, uh, I mean, no stitching, nothing, just, oh, so good. Now just to show you the box, you do have the co-branding on top of the box there with the Foot Shop uh, 5 and Kangaroo logo. And then around the sides of the top lid of the box, uh, that whole theme of the Spires comes through there. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then you've also just got some other branding of the City of 100 Spires. Uh, and then underneath the box, they've basically given you the message, uh, basically saying this was originally planned to be the friends and family colorway of the Foot Shop Kangaroo sneakers. Uh, following super positive feedback uh, from the community on their first kangaroo project we agreed to release this one to the public in limited quantities the release celebrates the fifth anniversary of our first brick and mortar store in prague we are very happy that you became the proud owner of this collaboration and supporter of foot shop i'm i'm very i'm even happier thank you and just when you thought the shoes couldn't get any cooler than they are, they do come with a certificate of origin from the Hummel & Hummel shoe manufacturer in Germany. I've probably butchered the pronunciation of that as well. But who cares because this is so rad. You basically get this certificate over here, which is signed by, I guess, the owner or creator of the uh, shoe manufacturer. Shoe manufacturer something. Uh, and yeah, that's really cool. And then they give you another little thing on Dynacoil, uh, just explaining what that is. And then an invite to um, a community event uh, with kangaroos as well. Uh, I think it's basically a competition to visit the shoe factory. That would have been amazing, but I think it's closed right now. Uh, and then, yeah, just something on the shoe itself, which is just so incredible. Uh, so overall, like, I honest to God have just never seen something so awesome like this before. And now, as I mentioned earlier, I was given a bunch of other cool little things from Foot Shop that uh, Peter threw in the box. Uh, and that includes a whole bunch of these different stickers. So you've just got these awesome uh, ones of the shoes. Uh, and then just basically, you know, if you guys can see those. Uh, yeah, just collaboration stickers all around. And then one of my favorite additions are these little pins over here, which have the shoe on them. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but just so many cool details with these particular shoes. Uh, and then just further to that, uh, they have uh, sneaker playing cards. So they've basically got a game over here, which was well, just normal playing cards, but they've got all the famous uh, silhouettes on them. So that's really, really awesome. And then some awesome uh, foot shop socks. And then last but not least, the co-branded uh, tote bag for this particular release. So huge, huge shout out to you, Peter Kovac, and the whole foot shop team for making that happen for me. I could not be happier to have this pair in my collection. Uh, and yeah, I think overall speaking, they're just, I am I'm blown away. I know I've said it a thousand times in this review, but I'm blown away. Now from a sizing perspective, you do want to go true to size with this particular pair. At least that's how it is in my case. Uh, I have a true UK9 uh, size and these are UK9, so they're bang on. Now from a price and availability perspective, as mentioned, very, very difficult to get these out here in South Africa. There are a few other retailers who did carry them, but the shoe itself was limited to around 480 odd pieces. Uh, so incredibly limited and rare at that. Uh, so finding your size might be quite difficult at this stage. Uh, but not impossible as always. And I think from an actual price point of view, they were around 290 uh, to 300 odd euros a pair. So yeah, it is a little bit on the expensive side of things, uh, but absolutely 1 million percent worth it for the level of craftsmanship and quality and materials that you are getting with this particular pair. So I can't recommend them enough. I would highly recommend you go and try and find your own pair of these, uh, maybe even the previous colorway or whatever, if you're not feeling these, but this is a shoe that I, cannot believe it's taken me so long to get. But that's pretty much it for this review of this absolutely stellar pair from Kangaroo's Foot Shop on the Ultimate 3 Flip. Uh, and yeah, just so good. If you guys have any further questions, drop them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to help grow this channel further for more content like this and vlog content down the line. But that's it from me. I'll catch you on the next one.